here you see my Hackintosh and it is working absolutely stunning uh, very fast and I, I like it but there is uh, the storage uh, it's lacking storage it only has 120 gig SSD and that's not much for today's standards and also for my needs it's not enough uh, I couldn't even cut one single video without it filling up the entire disk uh, and since I will do mostly video editing on this, that's like the main thing of it. I just need more storage. Now I don't need any like crazy 4 terabytes or whatever and then super fast. I just need storage. And so I decided to go with a, just a very boring everyday hard drive. One terabyte, that's enough. It doesn't need more. It's actually too much, but you know. I don't save anything on here, it's, it's all going to my PC, um, but uh, just for having it as a scratch disk and for the raw material, the one terabyte is like more than I'll ever need, so uh, it's fine. It was cheap, it cost me 50 bucks, I bought it new, and it's good, and it's gonna work. So here it is. Um, worth mentioning also is I bought it locally yes do you still know this like uh, you know these uh, stores when you when you go outside and, and stuff and you pick your it yourself and pay for it there you know not Amazon not clicking just taking it out of the uh, out of the shelf and then you know that's what I did here so uh, <laughs> Now you might say, oh, it was so much more expensive. No, it actually wasn't. Uh, I was surprised because usually this stuff is more expensive than on Amazon or so. But this cost me 50, 51, I think, 51. Uh, and uh, it's a 1 terabyte, 72 RPM hard drive. Brand new. Uh, Western Digital. And, uh, yeah. So let's unbox that. We'll just uh, show you that. Because that's what you want to see. Unboxing of a hard drive, of course. When was the last time I unboxed the hard drive? I really don't remember. It's been a long time since I've really bought a hard drive new. So, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. They write like safety environment and then they write it on a uh, another sheet that I have to print out very good <laughs> makes totally sense all right so here is the hard drive just another thing and there we have it all sealed up Western Digital 64 mag cache I think I have the exact same uh, one of those in my PC now, I opted for the 2 terabyte, but this was so cheap, and I was like, do you really need more than one? Actually, not at all. So, that's why I got the one. Let's open that up. If you're disappointed because this is so boring, just a normal hard drive, not a freaking whatever... 6 million gigabytes per second SSD and whatever. I'm sorry, just there are enough YouTube videos, just go there and watch it. But it's the reality, you know, not everybody needs and not everybody buys like the, the fastest for everything. It's only a, a gig of the internet. Whatever. So here it is. Brand new shiny hard drive. Now let's shut down the hack and gosh. And let's install it. And if you didn't watch the initial video where we built this, um, yes, my Hackintosh has a, a flat style case, a slim case, uh, unlike, uh, you know, the, the regular desktop towers you have. Um, yes, a tower is more practical. But this is just so slim and space saving, that's why I chose to build it here. And also because I had this case and it's very fitting here on my desk. Now, the downside of a case like this is of course that it uh, is kind of a little task to get stuff installed. Now, 
the main board and stuff that was easy but the hard drive is supposed to go under there um, it should slide in from this side I think and then screw it's, it should be screwed in from the from the bottom now I just uh, realized that I don't have the appropriate screws so we'll get them now these are the screws that came with the case they kind of have this kind of weird middle thing and uh, when you take a look in here you see you have these rubber feet yeah it's probably too dark but believe me and that's uh good because then the hard drive can't move around and it won't be that loud it won't be that noisy so let me get that installed and then we'll continue i decided to go a different way and remove this optical drive bay thing entirely i uh, thought to myself I will probably never use this. I will never need to burn a CD or DVD on this or put any kind of optical drive in it for anything. So here is full access to the hard drive space now, as you can see. Here are the, those rubber feet I told you about. So, yep, let me get it finally in. So hard drive is finally in and of course a thing that nobody on earth would want to know but I'm gonna tell it anyway. I had to switch around the SATA cables uh, because this hard drive is sitting so low that it, it cannot hook in uh, like this with this sort of L style connector and also I couldn't do it here so I had to switch around and you know on the SSD it doesn't matter. But on the hard drive, there is no space. I don't know why they would ever want to make these at all because it's just so ah, stupid. Doesn't matter in which condition actually. And what's the deal with just having a straight one? It, I don't know. But anyway, as you can see it's even hitting this plastic down there. But uh, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So there it is, ready to go. Oh shit! The medium could not be red. Oh well, we can fix that. Here it is. One terabyte, so let's delete it. Mac OS extended, not Apple file system. I think Apple file system doesn't even work on hard drives, or am I wrong? But I think I read somewhere that it doesn't even matter because it's a hard drive. So, uh, it only works on SSDs. Call it data, I will delete it. You can already hear it clicking. It was successful. Good. There it is. The EFI folder is on the internal drive. Just a copy, by the way. So I will do my thing now and delete that from the internal drive okay so we are done here this is uh there it is we got 999 gigabytes free space that's plenty so now the hackintosh is ready uh for its purpose uh cutting video and if you didn't catch the specs just a glance here there you go core i3 8 gigs of ram and it, it's internal graphics card so thank you for watching this was the final upgrade to the hackintosh for now and i am so excited because i want to finally use it so guys see you later